Welcome to Raw Holla. Yeah, we do got our players locking in the lobby, and yeah, the injury is what uh, Dark Nova's choosing to continue their tournament run on. And just like you said, it will take a ladder to climb this uh, this really, really tall order, but still, I got a feeling Dark Nova has been climbing, climbing the ranked ladder, as, like I said, look at all of the accomplishments that they have done in the bracket so far. That improvement doesn't just happen overnight. I got a feeling they are... They're, they're at an anime-type improvement arc. They are grinding, <laughs> and I don't think Impala is going to be the, uh, really going to be like the, the stop in that. Yeah, for sure. I agree with you. Definitely a lot of grinding coming out here. You know, it's new rank season. Everyone wants to hit that ball hall, and especially when we're at this level of gameplay, you know. These players are... It's it's smaller than the top 1% of players. That's how good they are, and Ooh. definitely we've been seeing grinding coming out from both of these players, but... As we see, our legends are locked in. We got that Sidra like we saw on the screen from Dark Nova, and we also got that Kaya from Impala, tried and true, as I always say. So we're seeing uh, Impala kind of play, you know, pretty good stage control here, using that spear to fiend the Dark Nova off and hit a little side light there, but not going to be able to extend. And I just want to see how um, Impala is able to use Kaya again because. Um, you know, these two weapons, Spear and Bow, have been changed a lot, so I'm really excited to see how Paul is going to adapt to be changed. And Dark Knight was going to hit a GC d -Sig to put him up one to two stocks. Three to two stocks, my bad. i kind of gotten the feeling that maybe these two players haven't really fought against each other too much, because you can see that a lot of times that they Ooh. would just throw something out. Sometimes it wouldn't work, but sometimes it would work, like that d -Sig coming through clutch for Impala. We usually don't see the boat d -Sig hit that much, so, or at least for Impala, we usually see Impala going for uh, a lot more signature, or actually less so the bow D sig, more so the side sig and end sig for yeah. bow, and uh, kind of the side sig and D sig for spear. But we see Impala kind of getting a bit out of his comfort zone to really try and chase down Dark Nova, and a lot of it seems to be working, but still doesn't quite, quite completely have the read. So, oh my what? God. I was not that? expecting that. Okay, all right. Usually you see recoveries KO off at the top after like a big string, but that was that was after a chase. That was not directly after a nair or anything. That was just jumping up to the sky and then recovering. Yeah, that was definitely a crazy chase up into the air that um, Impala just pulled off there. I'm noticing a lot that he's tending to go for like a Nair after Sidelight, which is a really good option that covers a lot of things. And Impala is just controlling this game. Another side is going to send Dark Noble way off the stage, and that's a, that's a pretty convincing win coming out from Impala's Kaya. That's going to put Impala up one in the set. There were still some really good moments from Dark Nova, but however, most of them were actually in the first half of the game. We saw a lot more engagements going, uh, yeah, a lot more engagements going over into the favor of the Sidra, and yeah, no, that chase, that was wild. I don't yeah, know if that was that a was, read was or if that was just, you're moving this direction, so I'm moving this direction too. I don't know if that was reaction based or read based or whatever, but that was kind of wild. It's but still, up, up and away. <laughs> Dark Nova having the better half of. Uh, uh, really the first half of the game, although although still having some shining moments, it might be kind of worrying to look because then that probably means that Impala just adapted and kind of shapeshifted a little bit more as the game went on and Dark Nova couldn't quite uh, couldn't quite keep up with the changes that Impala was throwing at him, but Dark Nova's throwing a pretty big change of his own. We got a map change, switching from nice. Brawl Haven over onto Apocalypse. This could be what he needs. Uh, he is Impala, the soft platform that might be pretty good for Spear, especially considering both of Kaya's uh, neutral signatures are going to be pretty good if, if uh, they catch on that platform. But still, I mean, they're probably doing some calculating, and I'm Ooh, nice. curious to see how this map change will pay off for them. Yeah, just like you said, Graffiti, very curious to see how Dark Nova is going to utilize this map change um, to their advantage. I'm also very excited to see, you know, a little bit more of that sword that Dark Nova has right now. Let's see how Dark Nova is able to use the sword to kind of help counter the spear. It seems like Impala has been playing because it looks like last game, Impala was, you know, adjusting to Dark Nova's cannon pretty well. And just like you said, Graffiti, I don't think these players have played each other a lot unless they like have some crazy ranks more of like 100 to 100, you know how some players do. But yeah, it's definitely always very interesting to see how um, players just get better and then you have to adapt to different players so you're not just going as the same person every time and like, oh, they do this, they do that. But uh, 
Impala is going to take that first stock and going to take the lead of this game too. Dark Velvet is slowing down the game though. What's the one thing that I said yesterday? What's the one thing that I always say? When the game is slowing down, it is usually in the favor of the person who's a little bit behind because that means they're able to give themselves a little bit more breathing room. But Impala is just throwing himself into Dark Nova's personal space. They are able to get that deed light nair. Tried and true trusted. For, uh, for cannon KO options, definitely a decent way to stop Impala's momentum, but you can still see Impala, I mean, no stop in the movement, it does not look like that KO slowed down the momentum much more, they were waiting to get back on the stage after uh, after that Nair connected, we do have Impala picking up low, but I see that some of the damage has already been done, Dark Nova's bringing the game back to even, and although they do kind of have to keep the game slow, while well, Impala does want to keep the game fast, so... There definitely is a very clear strategy for both of them, and when all cards are on the table, it's kind of hard to bring out any new surprises, but still, both of their work, uh, yeah, both of what, for both of them, their work is cut out. What they need to do to bring the set just a little bit further through, like I said, all cards are on the table. Yeah, definitely very exciting to see how the players are trying to kind of change the pacing of this game, like, like you said, Dark Nova seemed to kind of try to slow the game down a little bit, you know, let me focus on these cannon punishes, let me see if Impala's, you know, whiffing Ooh. sideline on Spear, but, you know, I noticed that Impala's just like, no, we're gonna play at my pace, and it's really interesting to see, like, these super high-ranked players kind of dictate the pace of the game, and I was thinking, you know, I don't, I don't really see, I'm not really seeing Impala much on that bow as I'm used to seeing him on. What do you think of the change here to Hmm. I think this map kind of does favor Spear a little bit more, and also to try and get a little bit more range, because Dark Nova is not really choosing to spend much more time on the sword. Definitely really proving the kind of primary, secondary thing that Sidra's got going on. So I think Impala is catching on. Okay, I'm fighting a weapon that has longer range and uh, I also might be on a map that benefits Spear a little bit better. So I think the Spear is to try and get what little better priority you can, but still, we got stocks coming down to red. Sudden death, dare, not quite gonna be it. Impala's not able to get the reversal. Recovery sends high, but not enough. Nair still not gonna be enough. It's gonna take quite a few more hits to knock Nova out unless we find a signature. Impala's trying to throw out quite a few signatures. Like I said, just like a, Ooh. throw this out, will this work, will this work? Bo Dare Dang. will be it though. Giving us a flashback as to how he became the current reigning world championship. No wonder that last stock looked a little similar. Yeah, that was a that that game was a super close, a lot closer than game one. And I really like to see how Dark Nova for a second had like that last stock a little bit, had that entire game control, just controlling Impala, controlling the pace of the game, and controlling where you know the stage. And now we're seeing Impala just explosively just take that lead back in, go up two in the set. We're gonna go right back to Apocalypse see if Dark Nova can um, prevent this 3-0 that Impala is staring down the barrel of right now. Just yet another reminder, this is still the same guy who took the game 5 away from Knees and 2-0'd Fakey. Mm. So, I know that we're thinking like, oh, world champ versus PR40, and you know, like, no matter what they try to do, Impala always comes out on top. Like, no, there's still such a real chance. It just, I think Dark Nova needs to pick up the pieces a little bit faster, because it, it's all out. Like I said, all the cards are on the table. I think he just needs to nice. kind of pick them back up quicker. He's, they're definitely in the process of that. They might have to wait for their second stock to try and finish that. But I feel like it's almost there. Something is just about to click, but it needs to click now if they need this uh, this reverse 3 0, which they kind of do if they want to stay alive in the bracket. They still have lowest bracket, they still have that safety net. But you really, that's not a good place to be. You want to stay in winner's bracket. Just how the way the tournament works. We could be having Impala fall down to second stock soon enough. Dark Nova definitely starting to pick up a few more pieces than uh, than last game. And last game was already not looking too bad, bringing him down to uh, sudden death, red last moving. stock. But still, this bow from Impala, this is making this game very difficult for Dark Nova. We could oh be seeing stocks three to one. Wow, Impala is just a math. Like this is the the real like when you've mastered a legend. Impala is a master oh, of yeah. Kaya, like level one hundred. But yeah, I, I remember 
way back when, years ago, when I used to play um, a lot ranked, you know, I used to be a fun guy myself. And Paula still had a level 100 Kaya, and he's just so consistent on this legend, and we're seeing that consistency. He just knows what to do in every single situation, and we're seeing the absolute control, absolute low usage, and... But Dark Nova is actually gonna, you know, get back up on their feet and not... Impala out. It's so hard not to call Impala Kaya because of like how how much he plays Kaya. It's just so hard to be like, oh yeah, that's Kaya. Kaya it's like Java cool. Bodvar. It's like exactly. Inchibo Lin Fei. It's, it's so hard, but Impala, Impala, Impala. Plays it's like Kaya. Introvert Tahir and uh, I'm even forgetting the legend's name, Vector. Vector, right? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, definitely, definitely a Kaya master. Dark Nova also ooh, ooh, pretty ooh. tried and true cannon master with a little bit of this uh, movement he's got going on here. But, ooh, Dark Nova's gonna have to make a super, super crazy play, super crazy plays to come back. And it just seems like Impala's controlling the stage right now, really looking for that knockout, maybe a Sair, maybe a recovery, maybe a downstick, loses the Spear, but is still fighting back against Dark Nova. Ooh, it's only a matter of time. The Lightning is not gonna kill Impala. Side air, weapon throw, follow up, not gonna connect. Oh my god! Oh, down there it is going to be. There it is! Player one wins. Wow. That's a 3-0. That's a yeah. But asterisk, as Foda likes to say, you know, that was <laughs> very, very well played by both parties. You know, Dark Nova definitely showing out with that cannon and Paula definitely just being PR1 and doing and all the stuff. Like, shout out to that movement, but shout out to both players for, you know, putting their hearts into this game. Yeah, uh, Dark Nova was really good at building up damage. There's been some times where we had some leads that looked very, very hard to overcome.